Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Chewbacca. Quite massive. It's the 18 plus black box that just is Ch Chewbacca um, from Star Wars. I got this one at Shields for $200, normal price. Down at the bottom, 18 plus set 75371 with 2,319 pieces. On the back of the box, we just get some photos, images of Chewbacca, as well as his height measurement, which I think is a really good inclusion for 18 plus sets because you're displaying them and so you want to make sure you have room in your collection and space for it before you buy it. Um, it's really good to know dimensions like that. And then we basically just have another, um, another look at Chewbacca. On the side, we have the 40th Return of the Jedi logo as well, which is kind of how they tout this set. It does come with the cutest instruction manual cover, in my opinion. That little Chewbacca peeking out is super cute. And then we get some pages talking about Chewbacca and their tribute to him. And I think that it's really nice. We can view those as well as a little interview with the designer, which is cool. They do, I will say, mention this as like a 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi set. But this Chewbacca, and this is my main complaint with this, and I'll just go ahead and say it. This Chewbacca, Return of the Jedi Chewbacca has a, like, kind of like a center hair part. Like, he looks specifically different. In action figures, he's different. And in Lego, they have never sculpted him to be different in Return of the Jedi. But his hair is different. And this one, if we're just looking at Chewbacca as a model, looks like the A New Hope or Empire Strikes Back Chewie. Um, and so the fact that this one is a tribute to Return of the Jedi, I think like it was a little bit of a missed opportunity. They could have sculpted his hair differently and they could have given us an exclusive Chewbacca with a new sculpt on the hair to give him those like little middle part like bang things that he has in Return of the Jedi. I think that would have been like, I think that might have made people who were really iffy about the set change their minds, but that's just my biggest gripe about this. Taking a closer look at Chewbacca, he is just a statue. He doesn't have any play features, and so, you know, this review isn't going to be super long, but he does have a base plate. We'll say it's really odd how these silver corners don't um, continue to the front. I feel like it looks kind of incomplete in that way. I don't know why we didn't get more pieces to add that. I do like his feet. I think that they did a good job with the hair and the toes. Um, and then it's just lots of brown. It's light brown and dark brown. And the build is one of those that you don't really enjoy. You're just excited to see the final product. So it's not an enjoyable build personally. Um, and I definitely, um, these angled slopes, like the flat slope angle pieces are horrible. Like those are my least favorite Lego pieces and you get a million of them in this set. I was constantly having to flip them back and forth because it's just one of those, it's one of those pieces that's really difficult for me. Um, I think that his bowcaster looks great and we get a nice little ribbon here that you see with the typewriter set for the first time. And then of course his bandolier is completely independent. It was a pain in the butt to build. It was very fast but just super repetitive. Um, but I like that it could come off if you wanted it to. Um, and then of course it has his little bag right there. Um, very cute. And then um, yeah, going up to his face, I really like the use of the lipstick tubes in white for teeth. And the biggest complaint with this Chewbacca is that his eyes are small and recessed. And if you look at the pictures, Chewbacca does have small eyes. In Lego form, it just didn't go over, I don't think, super duper well. Um, his eyes are kind of lifeless. I know that Lego has done eyes that are cute and have like the little glistens and stuff. I think that they could have made him his eyes a little like sweeter, maybe. I mean, in Chewbacca's eyes aren't. They're kind of beady and far back. But in a Lego model, I just don't think that it transferred very well. Um, but other than that, literally, I mean, that's it. He's, he's kind of wobbly. I mean, you can see the jiggle, but overall he's sturdy. It's just this joint right here. Um, it was interesting to build him, but not fun per se. And, um, I am really happy, honestly, that, that they did make a Lego Chewbacca. I mean, out of all the characters that they could do in statue form, I feel like Chewbacca is kind of a challenge because he is so furry and whether or not you agree that it came off well, I think it looks fine. I'm just so happy and uh, me I'm just I'm a Chewbacca lover like he's my favorite character and so I just want this and I like it because it's Chewbacca but I do see how people especially if you don't like Chewbacca are just gonna you know totally pass on this set especially for the price because it is expensive and for those of you curious here is the build a figure version of Chewbacca next to the statue version of Chewbacca and you can think what you will on those but um, I know that this one wasn't very well received either um, but it's actually relatively tall and a lot less pieces, so just very interesting different models. Last thing we have to look at here is the um, name plaque. It comes with a super non-exclusive Chewbacca, which we have a million times. It's fine, I just think that they missed an opportunity to create a new Chewbacca sculpt. Um, 
The plaque this time, at least out of the other like statues that I have, this one is printed. Um, and it just gives the information about Chewbacca. I think that the way they do like the blueprint look with the like brick built Chewbacca actually looks kind of comical. Like it looks silly. It doesn't look cool, I would say. Um, just because he's like eh, in blue and Legoized. It's just funny looking to me. But um, it's not attached, so you can move it anywhere, which I kind of like. Um, and of course, I think that it, of course, needed a, a plaque like that, like all other statues. But that's basically the review, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.